Physical hydraulic modeling is a design technique used by engineers to optimize the structure design to ensure the safe operation of the structure and to facilitate the decision-making process. In the physical model, the flow conditions are said to be similar to those in the prototype if the physical model displays similarity of form, of motion, and of forces. The pi buckingham theorem implies that two dimensionless numbers are most relevant in hydraulic models using the same fluids in physical model and in prototype, namely the fraud on Reynolds number. When the gravity effects are important, like in free surface flow, a fraud modeling is applied, with the fraud number being the same model on prototype. When the gravity acceleration is constant, the fraud similarly implies that the velocity scaling ratio is proportional to the square root of the geometric scaling ratio. Namely, for small size physical model, the model velocity will be smaller than in the prototype. For an undistorted fraud scale model, the following basic scaling ratio are shown. A fraud number modeling is typically used when friction losses are relatively small and the flow is turbulent. It is also used in study of large waves. A main concern is the potential for scale effects induced by viscous forces. Scale effects, when free surface aeration takes place, is another well-recognized issue. The modeling of flow resistance is not a simple matter. Often, the geometric similarity of roughness height on spacing is not enough. For an undistorted fraud model, the flow resistance scaling is such that the Darcy friction factor should be identical, model and prototype. The gauclair manning coefficient will be scaled with the geometric scaling ratio at the power 1 over 6, while the equivalent sound roughness height will be scaled with the same geometric scaling ratio. In practice, the lowest achievable value of resistance coefficient in turbulent flow is that for the smooth turbulent flow. In practice, a physical model based upon the fraud similitude tends to have proportionally more resistance than in the prototype. The most economical strategy for fraud modeling is to choose a geometric scale ratio, LR, such as to keep the model dimension small, and to ensure that the model Reynolds number is large enough to make the flow turbulent even at the smallest test flow. Indeed, when the full scale test flow is turbulent, it is extremely important to ensure that the model is also turbulent. Lamina and turbulent flow exhibit very different differences. The design of physical models follow four basic steps using a fraud similitude. We select first the smallest geometric scaling ratio to fit within the hydraulic laboratory. We check that the discharge can be scaled properly in the model based upon the maximum model discharge available. We check that the flow resistance can be scaled. We also check that the model Reynolds number for the smallest test flow rate is greater than 5 to 10,000 to ensure turbulent flow in the physical model. When this is not feasible, more advanced modeling has to be used. The first movie shows a single okay. cell box culvert operation. The barrel is 1.2 meter wide and 0.5 meter high, discharging about 0.3 cubic meter per second. The second movie presents the operation of 8 in 1 fraud similar model, that is LR, or 8. The following movie shows a full scale rectangular drop shaft in operation at the University of Queensland. The following photograph presents a 3.1 to 1 fraud similar model in operation. The following high shutter speed photograph illustrates several fraud similar models. A 40 to 1 fraud similar model of a spillway and flip bucket with a true slope of 30 degrees on a regulation structure in Switzerland with a 40 to 1 fraud similar model. 